So Josh, we've just been through the West Australian wheat belt and talking to farmers and a lot of them are thinking that going after the weeds or annual ryegrass with a terminator in their canola rotations kind of a waste of time. They're feeling like they're not getting many in the front, but I just thought like, you know, a lot of people talk about wild oats shedding, but in your system, you think that it's worthwhile chasing after and maybe you can tell us why you think it's the case. Well, just speaking on the annual ryegrass in this canola system, they're growing around it ready canola and spraying. We kind of heard today from uh, like an older experienced farmer that he's scared of losing that, you know, and, and to me, Although that, you, you spray those two parts of glyphosate and that, that field's going to be so clean, any survivors that get through that, like, they're, they're the fittest. We, we always speak of the fittest. Like, the fittest weeds have got through everything through the season and yet if there's one or two of them present, and, and to speak to your wild oat point, Nick, about there's going to be some shelling and, and they'll just drop on the ground, but they're the easy ones. Like, you know where they are, don't you? But if you're just going to go and spread them with the combine, that to me is a major loss. And I guess the other side of it too is that that one or two weeds doesn't look like much, but they could have 200 seeds or 200 potential weeds for next year. So, yeah. you know, you've done a great job, but still, you only need one plant to make 200. Yeah, and have we not been to that point where the weeds control the rotation? But it's been, it seems from my feeling from this trip is that, you know, some strategic tillage with the flip and rip and vine program and the incorporation of harvest weed seed control for many years prior, plus the invent of some pretty awesome pre-emergent herbicides. But if we just go back to relying on that, the herbicides, is, it, is history just not going to repeat itself again? I even feel that it will repeat itself anyway with, with this sort of technology, but we just got to buy time. We've got to buy time for people like yourself. They're going to come up with more innovative ways. And it may not be you, it might be the next engineer, you know, or the next chemical engineer. But we just have to keep throwing every, every hammer at them, don't we? <laughs>